What's up guys, Davram from Davram Gaming, and today we're going to unbox a new piece of technology that I'm not only going to use just in the studio here, but also out on the road doing shows, and uh, I've, I've, you know, headphones and everything is great, <clears throat> but I really wanted something a little smaller, not around my head, so I wanted to go with an in-ear monitor system. So I did some research, and of course there's a whole bunch of in-ear monitor systems out there that everyone um, has their opinions on. Um, and the top one, of course, is made by Sure, and it's about, uh, it's, I think, $800. Definitely a cost that, personally, I can't afford right now. And, again, for studio and the small things that I'm doing, probably not something that I, I, I really wanted to invest in right now. Uh, maybe down the road. But I, I was looking at a list of top fives, and then this particular one um, was on the top five. I think it rated in right around uh, three or four. Um, and it is the Audio 2000's AWM6304U. And I'll hold up the box here. It's a pretty hefty box. Um, but this ran me about $180 on Amazon. It comes with the, um, the transmitter and it comes with one pack. You can get it with multiple packs. Uh, but from what I saw from the reviews, it rates up there with some of the best out there. Um, the only real downfall was... Um, the antenna is uh, pretty thin. Um, they said to reinforce it with maybe some electrical tape or some shrink wrap. Um, and that was pretty much it. Um, other than that, really, really, really great reviews on this. Uh, so let's unbox it and take a look. All right, so here you have it. Again, a little closer uh, picture of the box uh, on the outside. Again, we have the uh, transmitter, the, th uh, the, uh, the box, the pack itself. Uh, and it also has the uh, bracket. It is a smaller uh, form, so it doesn't fit through an entire side of a, uh, a rack if you've got a rack mount. Um, but from what I read in the reviews, there should be an uh, expander on here. So if you only have one unit, uh, you can rack mount it just fine, uh, which is eventually what we're going to do here um, in the studio. Not today, uh, but eventually down the road, um, I want to get some stuff rack mounted to consolidate things on the desk. Um, so this will be rack mounted uh, once that goes. So let's get into the box. All right. So, um, <clears throat> okay. So once we open the box, we see this really nice. I mean, it's, it's a pretty lightweight plastic, um, but overall it's a nice plastic case here uh, that you can, you know, carry it around in with a handle, um, open it up. We can see here it comes with batteries. I have uh, some rechargeables that I'm going to use, uh, but the batteries are in there. Obviously instruction manual, um, all of our um, power cables. It does come with uh, its own earphones here. So you've got your power block here. Um, and it does come with its own earphones. Uh, now these are pretty low quality earphones. Um, probably not even as good as like uh, iPod, uh, you know, the, the things that come in your iPhone. So uh, we're definitely not going to use these. I actually have my own pair here. Um, these are the KZES4s. Again, really highly rated. Sorry, the box is very white, so it doesn't come up at well. But we have our own pair here that we'll be using in this unit. It comes with um, two, <clears throat> um, our, or, uh, two quarter inch cables, instrument cables here. Again, um, I have my own uh, much more heavy duty cables than these, but I'm going to guess these will work just fine. Um, comes with the antenna for the main, um, the main unit here. It comes with our belt pack right here. And then it comes with the main unit uh, right here in the middle. But a very nice carrying case. It's all foamed. It's uh, Everything was securely held in there. Nothing's going to move around on you. Uh, so if you are in, let's say, a band or anything, um, you know, this would be a perfect uh, carrying case for you. You don't have to worry about going out and um, purchasing necessarily a Pelican case or something like that. So, um, all right, let's open some of this stuff up and see what it looks like. All right, here's the unit itself here out of the box. Um, I didn't see any extenders in here, so you would need to get extenders. I thought they came in the box, but extenders, if you want to uh, rack mount it in a full um, a full rack, um, you know, get the get the piece that allows it to, to rack in there, a couple ears that extend out. Um, but uh, on the front here, I apologize, the, the camera is uh, not that great on there, but... Um, you're going to see we've got uh, volume adjustments here. Um, we've got um, uh, the pad buttons here if you need to pad anything down. Um, we have um, the channels up and down will be right here. You can also plug a pair of headphones in right here. We've got the power on and off. It's obviously not plugged in. It's got some nice feet if you're uh, putting it on the, um, on the desk. 
Uh, on the reverse side here, um, we have uh, AF out right and left right here, and we also have inputs right here. Um, you can use both um, quarter inch and XLR into these uh, inputs here, and they have a nice cover um, right over the, uh, the quarter inch section, so uh, you can obviously keep that protected and internally there um, if you're using the XLR. By all means, use the XLR if you've got it. I'm going to use the quarter inch. The uh, antenna itself, it does have a bend in it, so you can bring the antenna up at uh, whatever angle you wish to do it at. And we can just uh, attach this antenna right here, real simple. Oh, the antenna's pointing at you. So we'll get this antenna attached in here like this, get it moved around, and we'll adjust it up like that. So that guy's ready to go. Uh, the belt pack. Uh, obviously it's made of plastic. So again, if you are really rough on your devices, maybe not the unit for you, uh, as this is very thin, very, very thin plastic. Um, so it will break if you break it or if you drop it, you can see that this is a very, very flimsy antenna. So I will probably put some, uh, electrical tape on there or something to kind of straighten it up. Uh, some, some, uh, um, some shrink wrap or something, kind of straighten it up, give it some durability so we don't have it all dangling and breaking off down there. Um, real simple here, uh, we did put two AA batteries in it, like I said, get some rechargeables, that way you can always uh, pop them in here. Uh, simple on button there, uh, turns the pack on, we can see it glows green. You've got some pre-EQ uh, sets on, the, on the, the top here, one through four. We obviously have our volume control, um, both down and up, so you can adjust how much volume's coming through your ears. Um, and then you've got the up and down buttons right here to change what channel, so you can match the channel on your unit. Um, but real simple, um, real, real simple there. Holding the power button again turns it off. There we go. Um, so there is the two main pieces um, right there. Uh, I'm going to get some power up to this unit and uh, power it on. Let's see how it does. All right, guys. So here is the current setup. Um, I have a uh, buzz box right there, uh, but it's a focus, right? It's a, or a foresight or whatever it's called. I can't remember. Uh, that's my audio interface. That is actually going to my PC for the streaming. I have a Behringer headphone amp, which we have uh, the headphones going out of and into our new uh, wireless unit right down there, set to channel two. It's really easy to change the channels. Sorry, I'm holding the camera, so if it bounces around, you basically just hold the up and down button, it'll start flashing, and you can change your channel to whatever channel you need to for that particular, um, for that particular device. It's got a volume control there, and then I'm gonna take the camera back up top, and we'll take a look at this pack here real quick. I've already got my, uh, uh, my head, my ears in, so I'm going to unplug those real quick. Uh, so the pack, we just want to make sure that we've got set to the exact same channel. So we're set to channel two. Uh, all that you have to do is hold the power, but tap the power button. It'll actually take you through the settings uh, briefly. Again, I apologize. You won't be able to see it very well on this just because you can't really see what's on that screen. It's, it's too bright backlit. Uh, but if you tap it, um, it'll take you through mono, it'll take you to stereo, and eventually it'll get you down to the channel selector, and you can use the up and down arrows to change your channel. Uh, so really, really, really simple setup, um, really easy, really nice. Um, so, I mean, I would strongly um, recommend this particular setup for, and we got ears in, see? See, we got ears, we got ears. Um, I would strongly, strongly recommend this at its price point around $170, uh, definitely gets you started in the ear, in-ear system for small bands, for content creators, what it is, get yourself a nice pair of actual, uh, headphones, uh, that you like that go, that, you know, go in your ears here, uh, and, you know, get rid of, even though I absolutely love these, get rid of big things like this around your head, uh, go to something smaller, uh, like that, especially for bands and such like that, uh, but please, let me know what you think. Uh, you can get this uh, particular device uh, um, on Amazon, right around 170, 180 bucks. Real simple to set up. I had this set up in 15 minutes. So, real simple to set up. Uh, definitely recommend it. And uh, what I'm going to do is tonight when I stream, I'm going to run everything through the in ears. And uh, after the stream, I will finish up this video with 
what my overall thoughts of the quality is. But as far as the setup, as far as how small it is, as far as what comes in the packaging for what you get, as long as the sound quality is up there, I'm happy with this investment. Sure beats spending 800 bucks. Uh, but uh, we're, we're streaming in about 30 minutes over on twitch.tv uh, slash Davram Gaming. Obviously, when you watch this, that stream will be long gone. Uh, but we're going to try these out, and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, we just finished the stream, and I used the uh, the new in-ear uh, system that we have here from Audio 2000s. Uh, you know what? I am impressed. For the 170 80 bucks that I paid for this, um, great quality, still kind of tweaking the EQs a little bit, still trying to tweak some of my settings going from the headphones uh, into the in-ears, which you're going to have to do with anything, uh, but absolutely phenomenal. Um, I was actually able to, I have a, I have a split level, uh, house. My studio is in the back of the house. I was actually able to put these in during the start of the stream, during the startup music and walk out, do the dishes, sit on my couch, um, anywhere in the house. Again, you know, when you're on stage and stuff, things are going to be closer, whatever you are, but I was able to walk all over my house, um, with, with, in, in no interference. And mind you, when you saw earlier in the video, that is stacked, and it's got wires and everything else running through it. If I had that in a rack, or I had it in a place where the antenna was by no power, no any sort of inner electrical interference real close to that antenna, I, I think the it would be awesome. So if it was up on top something. Once I get everything rack mounted, I might not rack mount that, to be honest. I might, I might not, I don't know. I might just lay it up on the desk and have that antenna free in the air. Uh, but absolutely happy with this purchase. Uh, check it out again. It's audio. Um, it's audio 2000s. It's the AWX uh, 6304U. It's in the um, it's in the title of the video. Check it out on Amazon. I will try to put a link to it. Um, in the description, if you're interested in checking it out, but like I said, uh, I, I read a, a review on it, uh, took a chance on it. Um, it's one of the top five rated, uh, by these audio engineers that I was reading this, uh, this on, it's one of the top five, right around three, four, I think. Um, uh, obviously the sure $800 one is number one. Um, but for 170 bucks, I am totally happy with my investment. Uh, so, guys, take care of yourselves and each other. Thanks for tuning in. Please click that like, subscribe. Give me any sort of comments, feedback. Have you used this? Do you use other in-ear monitors? Also, headphones. We're going to do a uh, we're going to do also a review on these particular headphones, and I've got some things to say about them as well. Um, maybe not as positive, but mediocre, at least. But for the price, pretty good. <laughs> I'm a bargain shopper. What can I say? Uh, but thank you very much, guys. Take care of yourselves and each other, and we'll see you next time on another unboxing video.